Camden is six years old. Um, he was diagnosed when he was three. He is a very, very smart, um, fun-loving person. I always say that he's an old soul. Um, he's kind of like a little grandpa, basically. He goes to bed early. He's up early. Um, he likes things that most kids don't like, um, such as um, antique train sets and King Kong and making dioramas. Um, he's very smart and um, loves everybody. He's very um, caring about everybody. Polycystic kidney disease um, is what PKD stands for. PKD is a genetic um, disorder that is inherited from both parents. Um, it can either be a recessive form or a dominant form. Um, and Camden has the recessive form. Um, the recessive form means that mom and dad both have to carry the mutation. Um, so the recessive form is a little bit more um, severe than the dominant form. It involves the liver and the kidneys, results in um, liver and kidney failure. The symptoms um, of PKD usually are detected before birth. Um, and there's a 50% survival rate um, if it is detected in the womb. Um, most kids don't survive the first month, um, and they include really enlarged cystic kidneys and um, big spleen and big liver, and it causes a congenital hepatic fibrosis, which is basically scarring of the liver. Um, Camden's Symptom, symptoms started with high blood pressure, feeding difficulties, um, failure to thrive, um, and enlarged organs. So there's no cure um, for polycystic kidney disease. The only treatment is to kind of manage the symptoms by taking blood pressure medication um, and certain medications to um, control um, the processes of the liver. Um, the only real cure for it is to do a transplant. Um, typically it ends in kidney failure and liver failure, so most people end up needing a dual transplant. So Camden is in the process where he's being managed mainly by uh, medications. Um, he takes about six or seven medications every day to manage his high blood pressure. Um, he does get blood work every three months to check the function of his kidneys. Um, it typically has a um, endoscopy procedure done every year to check for um, complications caused by his liver. Um, Camden will be listed for a liver and kidney in the next couple of years because his disease is progressing pretty quickly. Um, most kids do require at least a kidney transplant by the age of 10 or 12. Um, and he, his liver is actually worse than his kidneys are right now. We go to Wisconsin two to three times a year uh, for treatment and to see his doctors, follow up care, um, and any procedures that he needs. Typically, it costs about at least $2,000 every trip that we go to Wisconsin for plane tickets, uh, rental car, hotel if we can't stay at the Ronald McDonald House, and um, food expenses. Um, the reason that we go to the PKD clinic in Wisconsin is because they um, have a comprehensive clinic where they see Camden, um, the nutrition, the nutritionist sees him, uh, psychology, the liver doctor, the kidney doctor. Um, they all see him at the same time, so everybody's on the same page. 
and there's only a couple of PKD clinics in the United States. And we did or originally go to Charlotte, um, but they were only treating one other child with PKD, and they didn't feel comfortable um, continuing with his care. And that's just through networking with um, people online, found the PKD clinic in Wisconsin um, and have had excellent care through them. Um, it took about six months for them to diagnose Camden. Um, and during that time, we didn't have very good insurance. And we, I think he has about $20,000 in medical debt from trying to diagnose him. Um, we've had to move the past year just to be able to reduce as much um, debt as possible so that I can stay home with him. Um, and he is homeschooled. He's not able to go to school every day just because of um, being fatigued and being sick a lot. Um, so there's a lot of sacrifices that we've had to make to um, get him the best care that he can. In June of last year, Cam that got his feeding tube placed in Wisconsin, um, and he got it for his inability to keep up um, with the nutrients that his body needs while his disease is progressing. Um, and we went back in September to have it changed. Um, and since then, um, he's gained about four pounds, and overall nutritional status is much better than he was. Um, so it's been a huge help with keeping up with his um, nutritional needs. Um, since Camden was diagnosed, we've had um, several area uh, businesses and churches that have stepped up and helped with getting us to and from Wisconsin. Um, the community has really rallied behind him and everybody loves Camden. Um, and they're always willing to be there to help with fundraisers and making sure that we get there safely and have somewhere to stay and um, make sure our rental car is good for us while we're there. Um, so the community definitely has stepped up and helped with um, his medical care. Um, in the beginning, we were really angry and didn't understand why this was happening to our family. Um, but now we kind of have a peace about um, whatever the road takes us, that God is greater than our circumstances. Um, so our faith in God is definitely a lot stronger through everything that we've been through. Um, just knowing day to day that, you know, our God is greater than our circumstances. At the end of the day, Camden is like any other six-year-old little boy that wants to play and um, he gets in trouble. He does things he's not supposed to do. He is mischievous, just like any other six-year-old little boy. Um, and he's, he's not always at the hospital or, or at the doctor's office. We do, you know, regular activities, going to Discovery Place, the museum, um, that kind of thing too. And through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you. And through it all, through it all, it is well. And through it all, through it all, my eyes are on you, for it is well with me. You want to ask your question? That was not a good video.